What's going on? Welcome back. Seven of eight in the queue. So we're gonna hop on over here and uh, see what uh, see what see what's shaking. You know, we'll see what's crackalacking, as the kids say. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus again! Lotus, the blackest of lotuses, and a mox ruby. Come on. Someone is getting a second pick, Mox, yeah. This pack also has a lot of land in it. Bayou, Savannah, Silent Clearing, Urza Saga, plus Mox and Lotus. That's one, two, three, four, six. Six cards in this pack are just mana sources. Yep, well, we're just taking this guy again. Wow, Grimothy. <coughs> Grimothy, is that you? I guess we're just taking Grimothy. Oh, boy. What a revolt in development. I like Grief. I hope Zoran Orb comes back. I would not mind playing some Zoran Orb shenanigans. I keep meaning to try them. Okay, now we have to pick an actual card. I like Solitude. That guy is a tier one gentleman. I like him to Torok. We could take Wasteland. <laughs> I don't know. What is that? What is... Is that what we want to do? Do we want to be that guy? Maybe. It's right here. I'll take a Wasteland. It doesn't commit us to anything. And you know what? I'm going to be the guy. I'm going to be the Wasteland guy. What universe is it that you're taking? Yeah, I know. It's, it's, a, it's a wild new world. I wonder if we're upheavaling or if we're Basalt Monolithing. Both of these make Zerta pretty good. They make infinite mana with Zerta. Plus, like, we're getting a lot of monoliths, you know? Or it could be upheaval, which is good with Grim Monolith. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take this Basalt Monolith. Or is, upheaval might actually come back. <clears throat> but I just feel like I got, a lot of, I got a lot of early artifact mana, so I might as well keep that train going, you know? Come on, upheaval. Come on back to Papa. Interesting. It might be Sundering Titan here and just kill more of their lands. I usually don't like a Sundering Titan, but this might be the place for it. I'm going to take Sundering Titan. Now you're basically priced into taking Flimsy Monolith and Goopy Monolith. <laughs> yeah, you got to get the whole Monolith family, you know. <clears throat> we could turn about and then untap all of our Monoliths. <clears throat> Fascinating. I mean, I honestly feel like Turnabout might be the, the pick here. We go tap for three, tap for three, blue, blue. Then we got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. We use four of it to untap these, so we have four left. And then we add, I'll take Turnabout. This is weird. Yeah, nothing in this pack really is, is 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 any good. Plus, if we're upheavaling, turnabout could be decent. City of Traitors. I wish that was an ancient tomb. I like ancient tomb much better than I like City of Traitors. These are actually duo liths. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Mightstone actually might be sweet in this deck. This actually might be a Mightstone deck. Might. Hmm. Knight of the Reliquary, huh? All right, we'll take a knight here. It's a late Rafelos as well. Um, Savannah is good with knight. It's also good. It's also a green card, and if we're trying to play like fast bond or Ramianap, Zuranorb came back. That's exciting. <clears throat> I was not expecting that. Okay, well, I'm taking a Zuranorb. Trying to get a Titania here is what we're trying to do. I guess we're just taking Knight of Autumn because it goes with the colors. I'll take Wishclaw Talisman, I guess. Eh, Sphinx. Okay, the last picks here were kind of iffy, but... Let's 
Let's get that Titania. Let's get that Ramming app. Zuranorb, Fast Bond, and like either Crucible or Ramming app is infinite life. Yeah, there's no more. The upheaval did not come back, unfortunately. Little do they know, we have all the artifact mana. <clears throat> so, jo <clears throat> so joke's on them. I'll take a, le a Leyline Binding. Sure, why not? Kumano faces Kakazan. Kakazan, Kakarat. Uh, we're going to take Crucible of Worlds here because that's exactly what we're looking for. All right. Well, we're doing a land thing here. Yep. I mean, if Bloodstained Mire or Mox Diamond come back, I'll be grateful, but I have my doubts. That was a pretty good pack, though. If you open a Strip Mine, you're going to take it. I kind of feel like I'm ha I am have to with Wasteland. This really strikes me as the, the guy in the well society meme. <laughs> Where, where the dude has got the sticks on his back and he's like, we should have improved society somewhat. And the guy in the well is like, mm, yeah, you participate in society. Curious. Um, I'm, I'm participating in the Wasteland Strip Mine deck because it's here. But that doesn't, that's not, that's not support for it. Let's be clear. Uh, Verdant Catacomb. Seems good. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's got to be Verdant Catacomb, yeah. We have Crucible now. It gets our Savannah. Mere Battle Sphere, eh? Is there anything else in this pack that I would care about? Not Birthing Pod, not Questing Beast, not Tendrils. No, I think it's just got to be a Mere Battle Sphere, especially with this much mana. Hate the game, not the player. It's true. Yeah, I agree. We don't have a single colored card in our in our deck area yet. Knight of Autumn and Knight of the Rare Color probably, probably make the cut, but they're not there yet. What do we like here? Mishra's Factory? It's kind of unexciting. I got, oh, Elvish Reclaimer actually is pretty good. Yeah, Elvish Reclaimer is probably the exact card we want here, right? Okay, okay, natural order. Uh Ashen Rider. Let's put let's put the knight and the knight, double knight. Um God, I really like Archon of Cruelty. That guy's a beautiful boy. Two Archons, Ashen Rider and Archon of Cruelty. That's fascinating. I'm just going to take the Natural Order because I don't think there's anything else great. Archon's nice, but I don't think we're ever going to be playing it. Like, there's no way to... Oh, the Zerd is exactly what we're looking for, especially if we're base white here. We have both Basalt and Grim Monolith, which it goes infinite with. Yes. Excellent. Temple Garden. Um... Probably the best pick here, especially for this particular mana base. Yeah, I'll take a Temple Garden. Crop Rotation. <clears throat> Interesting. Sacking a land does not seem that bad here. Let's take a Crop Rotation. In case we get some seriously degenerate lands. Stay nimble. <laughs> keep your Keep your joints loose. The problem is you don't have a ton of great lands yet. We have Wasteland and a bunch of junk. But if we get like, yeah, I'm going to take Crop Rotation because we could also get like uh, Dark Depths or, you know, um, Thespian Stage, et cetera, et cetera. I think Tireless Tracker is probably good here. I do like Elspeth as a win con, but we already have a bunch of big idiots. Razor Verge Thicket. That is a little fixerino, huh? Also, a Seeker's Chariot is just good. I'll take a Chariot here. Questing Beast and a Sigarda, huh? Angels and humans. I don't think we have any angels or humans. 
I guess Knight of the Reliquary is a is a human. Yeah, Questing Beast is probably better than Sigarda. Oh, I'll take Amisha's. Oh, actually, Wall of Omens is probably better. Oh, look, Archon came back. Now we get to stay nimble. All right, this deck is looking like something here. I don't know what, though. I am fascinated. Chariot over fixing in this climate? <laughs> in this economy? Oh, wow. We're going to have to pass a mana drain? That's a bummer. But for what is the question? I wonder if Retrofitter Foundry is correct. It's a good place to make infinite mana. Um, yeah, I think we take Retrofitter Foundry. Unfortunately, Urza Saga was in the first was in the first pack. Yeah, Retrofitter Foundry is pretty good though. Primeval Titan. Hmm, I do like a Primeval Titan. Also an Ugin. <clears throat> That's fascinating. Um. Hmm. I feel like it's Primeval Titan here. Although, yeah, I'm going to go with... Ah, man. Yeah, I'm going to go with Primeval Titan here. Oh, Nyssa and Marsh Flats. We're not getting the land cards that we really want, unfortunately. There's also a Cauldra Complete in pack one, which might come back. Which would make the Stone Forge a lot better. I do like a Nyssa, but I'm not sure how many forests we're going to have. Marsh Flats is really good because it gets our lands... And I do have a crucible. I th uh, this is actually surprisingly tricky here. I think I want more early stuff. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Stoneforge here. I just think it's probably better. Oh, we get a windswept teeth. That's pretty good. Um, we could also take Talarian Academy, which might be really good here. That's interesting. I mean, Knight of the Reliquary is going to make sure we have lands to put in the graveyard. Cauldron might come back. It was in pack one, and I don't think it's actually a very high pick, especially if people don't have Stoneforge. How many artifacts do we have? One, two, three, four. This makes artifacts. Five, six. Seven. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take Talarian Academy. We have both crop rotation and Elvish Reclaimer and Knight of the Reliquary here. Hmm. Luris of the Dream Den is interesting. Get back Wall of Omen, Stone Forge, Elvish Reclaimer, Retrofitter Foundry, Zernor, Black Lotus. We have Black Lotus, so we're gonna take the Luris. All right, I think we're drying up here. We're reaching the end of our of our adventure. Uh, survival of the fittest is interesting. Yeah, actually, I could see picking just bobble for the for the artifactness. I could also take blade splicer for that same reason. All right, I'm gonna take a bobble here. I don't love it, but I'm gonna do it for you guys. Um, interesting. <laughs> Splash for cruel, you can do it. Don't tempt me. Don't don't tempt me with a good time, buddy. I kind of like Talisman of Hierarchy here. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Talisman. Oh, another Talisman. Oh, Karn is actually pretty good for this deck, I think. There's also a Lion Sash, which we can get with Stoneforge. Hmm, that might be better. It's also another artifact for us. I think it's got to be Karn. Karn is just a stronger pick. Nyssa Ascended Animist is definitely the pick here, I think. Oh, the Cauldre didn't come back? That's a bummer. I don't know if we're a Mystic Forge deck. I also don't even know if the 
crucible is that good without like fast bond or even like exploration unfortunately mm. i guess we're just taking kitchen finks blightsteel colossus might be a card we can just cast if we go infinite yeah that sucks um sure i'll take this guy take a putrid imp this and that's the end all right well stoneforge doesn't do anything now unfortunately what did we take stoneforge over <sighs> and i don't even think we're a crucible deck anymore <laughs> that's sad might stone and weak stone loses a lot of value if you don't have urza i think but it does help cast battle sphere sundering and blight steel the goal is to go infinite with Zerda and one of the monoliths, I think. No, there was definitely a card. It was, I think it was, um, I think it was like a Marsh Flats. Maybe. We just didn't get any of the good Zerin Orb combos like Titania or Fast Bond. So... It's funny because we also have natural order in the sideboard, but we don't really have any great uh, green creatures to even get with it. So this is 25. We need two cuts. Crop rotation is kind of meh if we're not just assembling a combo. Um, Crucible of World seems okay, right? Also, the artifact is still good for Talarian Academy. Bobble doesn't count as a card, but we still have to account for it. It still takes up a slot. You know what I mean? So we're definitely white green. This deck is fascinating. Well, yeah, but we can also get Talarian with Knight of, Knight of the Reliquary and Elvish Reclaimer. So I don't need a third way to get it that doesn't do anything outside of that. Like, I'd much rather it be attached to a creature that gets bigger. <clears throat> I mean, I actually like Mightstone because it's good removal and it's good card draw if we need it. We also have that Ashen Rider in the sideboard, which is kind of funny. We need to make a cut, not add a card. <laughs> oh, man. Neon Tokyo, get it together. Plus, we have Wall Omens for that. Like We can sideboard that guy in. I think I'm good on three drops. Each permanent card in your starting deck has an activated ability. That's funny, because yes, 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 yes. Wall doesn't. Uh, tracker doesn't. I guess Luris doesn't either. Crucible. Okay, we were, we're farther off than I thought we were. I think there's still a lot. Yeah, okay, we're farther off. Never mind. I was like, wow, we only have like a couple cards that are not... Yeah, I'm going to take the bobble out. It doesn't really do much. God, I don't know if Zerin Orb does either. I feel like we I feel like we we just didn't get there on this deck, but I mean, we still have some good threats and some good ramp, and I'm hoping that kind of gets us there. We don't need a red and we don't need a black. 6 7 8 9 4 5 6 7 Oh, uh, so this is just straight even. And I kind of like white because we have double white, double white. Yeah, we don't have as much white, but we do have, we, like, we do have double white cards on three. All right, let's see if this deck does 
anything at all. Bobble block only counts as a land if it's in if it's in your opening hand and you crack it. Well, no, I don't actually think Bobble does count as a land because you don't draw the card until your next turn. So if like you draw a Bobble and you need a land drop, you literally crack it and you don't even draw your card till the next turn. So I don't think that's actually the same. <laughs> um. Plus, like, if your opening hand is, like, land bobble, like, and you don't draw another land off the bobble, then it's not a land. You know what I mean? I'm definitely sure I don't want binding. It would be four mana in this deck, and that's just not a great deal. <laughs> if you don't have black, how do you plan to class your black lotus? It's a good question. <sighs> I don't have an answer for you, though. I'm, I'm sorry. Interesting. Interesting. This hand is pretty bad. I'm going to mulligan it. Not necessarily better, but if we draw one more land, we can Talisman. I'll keep it on the draw. We'll ship this Nissa. Oh, great. Oh, boy. Oh, great. Oh, we did it. Look at us. Look at us go. We have a Black Lotus in our deck, you know. Some people don't know this about me. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't feel great about this deck, dude. Wow. 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 Dr. Neil, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, okay. Um... Well, we can only play a two drop here, so we might as well do that. You can actually mulligan a whole draft. Uh, you guys are being very discouraging right now. And I'm not here for it. I thought I had friends here. Yeah, Black Lotus, cast Luris, return Black Lotus, cast Crucible, cast Knight of the Reliquary, Tarless Tracker. That would be a good turn. I'd like that. You know, I'd really enjoy that. I appreciate you, Shua Garner. What in the earth? They discarded a blue card and a red card. I thought they were a... I thought they were a mono-red deck. Well, shooty booties. So I think we just go get Savannah and play Knight of the Reliquary. And we'll see it die immediately. Oh, they're definitely taking two. They didn't take two. They don't need it. They're just going to... Goblin Guido. This is interesting. Just hit attack with all. You don't got to click on everyone individually. Asika's Chariot is pretty good. Fascinating. Uh, I'm going to block this guy. And, you know, force you to sack it if you want to. I don't, I don't, if you don't sack it now, you're going to get another card next turn. And it's just, it's all downhill from there. Oh, they didn't. They just lost all those cards. Well, that works for me, I'll be honest with you. Give me those bodies. Bow body. Uh, no, no, no combat sees. I will be the blocker here. I will be the defendant in this combat case. Uh, 
Oh, this is a good one. Fascinating. Do, 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 do. Wow, they're really just getting aggro. Nissa ascended animisto planes off the tippity top. All right, block here, block here, block here. Take three. Sack a planes. Let's go get a T Academy. Other planes, you got it. Oh, they're just not doing it. This is okay. We're surviving. Surviving and thriving. Oh, interesting. Got that double companion action, huh? Okay, so we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. No, keep that green. I guess we have to use a green. We can go tracker. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Or one shy. Hmm. But maybe not. But probably. So this guy, this guy, play this, crack it, oh wow, that guy's fat, I'll crew with you. Yep, that's the one. So now we still have three blockers. That was a decent turn. And I feel like we're okay at seven. I don't feel like we're super, super dead here. Okay, they didn't attack, so now we're doing... Now we're living the dream here. Let's get a wasty boy. Kill this. Hmm. So, one, two... How much is this making? I'm just going to tap it to find out. Four, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten. We're very close to just casting Blight Steel. Is that a thing we can do? Man. If we had if we had a way to sack this, we could actually sacrifice it, tap it, play it again, and tap it again. Oh, clue tokens are free to activate if I have this guy out, though. That's interesting. Uh, it's got to be double white. White, white. White. Oh, this is an interesting interaction. Uh, oh, it's, oh, it doesn't, it's, it's, it's minimum one. Okay. Uh, it's still, still better than nothing, right? Crack. I don't want to go to, I don't actually want to go to six here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, feel a lot better about going to six now.
Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, we could have played Basalt Monolith, then gone infinite, then played Blightsteel that turn. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, so our deck did do something. Let's bring in Kitchen Finks. Much to Neon Tokyo's pleasure. Neon Tokyo, why did you lose the rain? Where did the rain go? Too many syllables. <laughs> huh. Why did you go with Neon Tokyo instead of Tokyo Rain? Hmm. These are the hard-hitting questions here. You guys are asking me to bring in a lot of five drops, and I think by the time we have five mana, we'll probably be able to stabilize with everything else here. Like, I'm not... I, I think I think having a five drop is really not where we want to be. Like, we're not going to bring in a five drop to stabilize against the aggressive red deck. I think we're actually pretty good. Like, this gains life, this gains life, this has lifelink. This blocks. This makes two bodies. Like I think we also we have it on. We have it. This makes bodies. This makes like we have a lockdown, and we're just gonna submit like this. That sounds like an old jazz song, and the aim was more like a blade run. Oh yeah, neon. Yeah, for sure. Neon Tokyo definitely has the. Um, what is that? What's that genre called? Futuristic noir, like something like that. Uh, yeah, you could just call it cyberpunk, sure, but I think it has a more, I think it has a, it's not really cyberpunk though. Cyberpunk implies like body modifications and stuff. Oh, what? No. Oh, actually, that's fine. We can just play it next turn. I was I was like, wait, we forgot to play one drop. We're just going to play it on turn two after we play Hierarchy. It's not a huge deal. Tech Noir. That's interesting. Oh, dear. Is this a different deck? Is this the same deck? What's going on? Top Deck Lotus. Give me that Black Loaders. The problem is, like, playing a Tireless Tracker off a of Lotus is not, like, super exciting. Playing a Primeval Titan off a of Lotus is pretty exciting, though. So if we play this on turn one, turn two we play this, we have one mana free, and it doesn't really do much for us. So we didn't really lose out on anything, I don't think. Dude, I'm getting so I'm facing Jitte so many times. This is wild. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic draws. Yeah, I think we just play that even if they kill it. Like, we just can't let a Jitte go ham, you know? Take it easy, little Jitte. My Knight of Autumn is dead. They killed it. Gain two life. Gain your life. Good for you. Tech Noir. Is that the official? Wow, that's wild. What did I call it? I called it something noir. Look, Demetrius bobbled, but they don't get the card till this turn. So it doesn't help you do anything. You know, it's just stupid. You understand? It's just stupid. I kind of like questing beast here, but also tireless tracker gets two clues and we can crack one of them. That might be better. Let's go tireless tracker, you know. Oh, never mind. I was just kidding. Is that Mystic Confluence? Wow, Hardcast Force of Will. Wild. 
wild. I cannot find the Dr. Pepper in the Netherlands. Oh my god, that's so stupid. I bet it's an American thing. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, you got healthcare, but no no Dr. Pepper, I guess. So who's the real winners? It's you guys. Let's go get a, a Savannah. Let's make a servo. Yeah, I'll just block this guy. That's a, I would take Dr. Pepper over healthcare, to be honest. Well, at least it's honest. It's a living. Let's see if this guy actually resolves. It resolved. Degeneracy. Let's get a Talarian Academy and a Wasteland. Give me them fancy lands. Are they going to treachery? That would be... If they go... Watch, they're going to go Zealous Conscripts and just absolutely straight murder us in one turn. Okay, that's not a Zealous Conscripts. I accept. Yeah, they're like, well, I got to attack anyway, so I might as well attack with everything. Get rid of this guy. Hmm, that is fascinating, isn't it? Let's get rid of that white source ASAP. ASAP Areno. Let me get this guy. Tumble Garden and like guess we'll get a planes uh god no don't don't pay two life what are you crazy i lost two teeth and can't pay for implants so i'm going straight up 18th <laughs> what in the earth yeah tokyo where did the, where did your teeth go we need to discuss this so right now i can make two right okay but if i pay to make a guy then I make three, which untaps this. I guess that's all. I guess that's where we're at. Maybe Meanmugger could knit you a grill. <laughs> hey, where's your teeth? Yeah, I'm going to make a shirt that says, where's your teeth on them? On it. On, on them, as in on, on the shirts, you know. Show me those teeth. It might have been greedy to attack with Questing Beast here. So I think we're just gonna block this guy and this one, and then I'll take two, but I'll kill that guy too. They're only at, they're only at 12. I feel like we're close to doing some things here, right? Oh, Luris. Luris gets back Knight of Autumn? No, because it's two or less, right? Luris gets back nothing? Wow, that's pretty good. It still has lifelink though. What do we have? One. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten mana. We could just play a Sundering Titan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then that'll be three, and then we can play Lurus off of that because that's how artifacts work. Just kidding. It's not. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So close. But then we gotta kill two of our own lands, too. I bought Neon Tokyo's teeth. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I hope you got a good deal for them. You probably didn't get that good of a deal because you just said you couldn't afford the implant. So, God, you really got a bad deal. Yeah, I think it's just Titan and we keep Retrofitter Founder up. Okay, let's say we make a guy with Retrofitter Foundry. One, two, here. And then we have 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the same way. Unfortunately, we do have to kill two of our own lands, but... Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't do it. Whatever you're doing, don't do it. Instead. Oh, you're just bringing that Pyromancer back. That's fine. That could have been worse. One, two, three, four. Mm, Dunzo. Any order. In retrospect, we should have left their Sacred Foundry up. But you live and learn, you know? So we get two blockers. I think we need three blockers. One, two, three. We take two. And eh, we'll just attack with this guy. Oh, I guess we also have Retrofitter. I don't, I don't think it's worth taking risks here when we're, at, when we're at six. And they have one card in hand. Are you winning, son? Sure am, Pa. Gee willikers, am I? Okay, they have no cards. That's good for us. This also means Rabble Master is only five power, so we can block with Primeval Titan. This is really aggressive. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, jump the door. Hit okay. Go to blocks. Yes, that's fine. Lose the mana. Lose it! Block. 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 We take three, but we don't die because they have no cards, so that's good. But don't they die on the crackback? Fingers crossed. Oh god, did they just draw like a burn spell? Would you mad if I made a mastication stick with your teeth? I need to choose some stuff I can't reach. <laughs> I mean, you you paid good money for him, you know? Or bad money for him. I really don't know. Are you dead? Just kill me if we're dead. Man, why can't Laris get... Oh, we just win the match. All right, what we've drawn? Knight of the Reliquary. All right, well, our deck did something. So that was nifty. Nifty! They are nifty gifties. That's from the office when Andy joins the office. No, that would certainly be cyberpunk. <laughs> you know what? That's my aesthetic, so go for it. See, babe, even you didn't believe in me. Does anyone watch the cartoon Primal? I don't think so. I haven't heard. I haven't even heard of Primal. But I am going to Google it now that you mention it. Animation looks good. Wow, it has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's pretty impressive. I believe in you when it matters, and that's what matters most. Huh. And then we wait. All right. I am also stoked for season two of Invincible. Some shows take so long to have a, a, a following season come out, and rightfully so. Like, it takes a while. But I sometimes forget, like, what shows we're in the middle. Excuse me. <laughs> what shows we're in the middle of. So, like, I actually have, like, a note 
a note document that has like all of our shows in it just so I can like remember what we're watching. Crack that whip. I love a white source so I can play this wall of omens. Give me that Verdant Catacombs. Give me that V-Cat. Okay, well. This guy. Second land, search over for land. That's actually, that does fix for us. And we can do it at any time. Any time. Sorcery, instant speed, whatever you want to do it. You name it. Another deck with blue and red, huh? Oh, they didn't do anything. Yeah, biscuits. I will pass. Green. Fascinating. Let's hit a Black Lotus so we can just Primeval Titan here. That'd be cool, right? Oh, they're going to Minskin Boo. All right. That's good. He's just predicting everything. You're the trophy husband, so you better start winning more trophies. I feel like I have a good amount this season. We got 11. I mean, I'm no Hank the Obese over here, but, you know. I feel like I'm I'm pulling my weight. I haven't even done 54 drafts, let alone uh, won 54 trophies. Did he go up? 56, my bad. I didn't want to... I didn't want to undercut Hank the Obese's progress, you know? Snap this guy. Sure. Let's get... Big Temps. No. You got it. You snapped my one drop. They need a double green for something? Cool. Eternal Witness to get snapped back. Well, that's not exciting, is it? Sure. This is all very unexciting. Oh, hey, Grandma. Do you track your trophy rate? I mean, in so much as I go over here and look and it says my trophy is 11. No, I, I don't really care about trophies. I, I have no intention of getting a lot of trophies. So I it just doesn't interest me. I, I'm not playing the Vintage Cube to Trophy. If I 2-1, I'm more than satisfied because I broke even. And I get to draft again. And that's really all I want, you know? Fascinating. I think we'll save that till next turn. Or we can do it right now and just play a Seekish Chariot. Is that good? Good gravy. I feel like we just wait for Primeval Titan, right? That's got to be better. Well, I don't have any responses, so I'll just F6 for you. The real trophies are the friends we made along the way. That was a weird turn. Bounce my bounce my uh, wall of omens. I dare you. Oh, this guy? Sure, you got it. They didn't do anything, but they got a snap. Snap back to reality. Oops, there goes gravity. Oops, there goes Zoran Orb. Okay. What about this guy? I like. I don't like that one. I don't like. Snap targeting your own eternal witness to make a guy. Sure. Well, that's a bummer. I do not have the one, my friend. Hmm. 
Fascinating. So their hand is Eternal Witness and one random card. I'm really tempted to just turn out in a Seekish Chariot here, to be honest. I think we're close enough mana-wise to like not really worry about it. Plus this guy getting a Talarian Academy now ramps us again, so. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. What are you gonna tap down? My little chariot? Okay, you got it. What else you got? Yeah, okay. Okay, go to the next one. Okay. Now what? Now what are you going to do? Nothing? That's what I thought. Well, opposition is a Pretty unfun. Yep, that's a bummer. If this is Night of the Relicary, we could tap, tap for two, sacked one, got Talarian Academy, tapped it for two, and then played Questing Beast, but... Getting snap back. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna scoop here. This is just not gonna end fun. You're just putting more creatures on the board than we have things to do about them. So Yeah, I think we just submit like this. This has flash actually. It might just be worth it to play, even if it costs four. Opposition is pretty unfun. I agree with you. I think turn one to seek his chariot might be a bang and play. They do have, well, we're on the play, so they can't even daze. So that's pretty nice. Like we just got to start making guys on turn two, which is pretty nuts. Hello, Christian. <laughs> Hello, Roberto. Oh, boy. Good times. This might just seal it up, man. I don't want to get... I don't want to get presumptuous here, but... We're going to have so many dang cats up in this piece. Oh, that's... Sure. You got it. I got the Lotus. You got the Ancestral. Actually, oh, we can't play this. I was like, maybe we just play Knight of the Reliquary here. We can't do that. I'll choose you. This is the this is a token token. Just so you guys know. Not to be confused, it's just a regular, regular token. Rotten Bort Mados, the Bordo meter. Oh boy.
They're just discarding those? That's hilarious. Hilarious. Man, what if they have snap and days? That's going to be pretty wild. I think we just attack with three cats here. It minimizes what they do with Snap. We could also just play Knight of the Reliquary, force them to daze us. That resolved. Fascinating. And snap it up. Yep, you got it. <laughs> kind of knew you had that, so that's fine. It is what it is. So you can run and tell that home, 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 boy. That's fine. Get your time walk. Got it. You got it. So we're going to play Monolith in today's. Yeah, let's do that. Daze me, daddy. Okay. <laughs> Sick days, bro. This was not the best of your days. All right. Well, even if we lose, we, we went one, two. We got to tell ourselves these things. These are the things we have to tell ourselves. Guys, the daily sub goal is at three of five, and we've streamed twice today. Come on. Get it together, y'all. Actually, Thrun might have been good here. Man, what if I put, put Thrun in the deck instead of didn't put Thrun in the deck? Is this hand exciting? I don't think so. Turn two Talisman and Basalt Monolith, but no real action here. Oh, this might be worse. Uh, I actually don't know if it's worse. I don't know if it's better, but I don't know if it's worse, you know? So next turn I can Talarian Academy make a guy, and then I can just start going ham, I think. I run till that oh, 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 boy. That's a good one. It's a very good one. Thank you. It's got to yield until the end. Set. Kurt with a gifted sub to grandma. Oh my goodness. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. I did it. <laughs> you sure did, Grams. You sure did. Thank you. Oh, and a gifted sub to Colbay. Colbay O'Brien. O'Brien. <laughs> it's like Colby Bryant, but like Irish. It's the Irish Colby Bryant. Bryant. We're having a good time. Words are hard, you know? Um, so this makes two. I do like playing a Grimothy here. I think it's just Grimothy into make another guy. So what do we got here? One, two, three. This makes three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can, we're so close to actually just playing mirror battles for this turn even. Okay, we got we got future turns. If we can get a Zerda and a second white source, then we got infinite mana, you know. Conan's podcast is really good. I've actually really enjoyed it. Here comes the opposition. Never fails. Oh, boy. Good times.
Let's make a little servo. One, two. Three, four, five. That's weird that they let me untap with Grim Monolith. I don't know what to make of that. Sure. So this costs four. Add three. Uh, let that resolve. Untap it. It's fantastic. Well done. Well done. I applaud you. Uh, let's go get a Savannah. Let's... I think we just make a guy here. Actually, Reclaimer is not going to be very good. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess we just keep this up. Like, the, the artifacts are just better with Reclaim Academy, and it's just a better use of mana as well. Sure. They have two cards. I'm just crossing my fingers. That, oh, they're just going to activate Kin in here. That's pretty good. Yep. I guess they don't... Re <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I'm way too healthy for that. If you had a Phantasmal image to copy that, I would be a little bit more scared. This is eight and then go to six. I think that's totally fine. Let's yield until the end step. Interesting. So, oh, we can actually just kill Crater Hoof with this. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, kill Crater Hoof. Tap this for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like a million. That seems correct. Actually, I think we kill Kinnon. This guy seems, yeah, that seems better. And then we can tap this and this. Yep, that resolves. Make another servo. All right, this feels nice and healthy. Also, Academy makes like a bajillion mana next turn, so we can literally make like, I don't know, four guys. <laughs> or make a bunch of four fours. Regrowth cannon. Yeah, that's fine. Really glad we didn't uh, kill the opposition with a, a destroy spell rather than a than like a ley line binding. Mm -hmm. Four. Oh, you actually have a bunch of mana left over. That's interesting. Oh, because this makes four. Yeah, that's really good. That was a great play. I don't think any of their creatures are going to be as scary as Crater Hoof here, though. 
I guess if they have a clone effect, that would be pretty bad. And I would have to cross my fingers that we have enough. We only, they only have two creatures, though. And they whiffed. So, fantastic. Everybody's having a good time. But mostly me. Oh, Luris. Oh, Lurie, what do you do? How much does this make? 12? That's <laughs> pretty good. Okay, well... Yep, okay, one, two, three, four. Double block, single block, interesting. Uh, one, two, three, get Luris. They might have a run, they might have eternal witness, but that doesn't let them cast it this turn, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is eight. Yeah, they're two mana shy from casting it this turn. So we got 12. I want to play that because I want to be able to use it this turn. Oh, we also have Mightstone mana to make retrofitter tokens too, so that's pretty cool. Six, seven. Oh, the Mox actually does it. Oh, fuck. That's good. I think we just lost. Actually, that's pretty bad. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's exact. Actually, they only have two creatures. We might be able to survive this. Especially because we can make our guys four fours. Yeah. So three, four, four mana to make a four four. No, more mana than that. Like, we can make it, like, a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, they had exactly enough. They had to hit a land there. That's hilarious. So, 9 and 6. So, we have to soak up 15. That's a lot. Well, we gained 3. Uh, yeah. Oh, they can actually untap that, too. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's not great. Yep, that's pretty bad. Yep. Uh, I am I I are have a frustrate. Um let's go sack a one one thopter. Or a servo rather. Actually if we can make two guys, I think we're probably gonna be okay. Which I think we can. Three, one, two, three. So we go. Sack this guy. One, two, three. And then we have three mana left over, which doesn't do anything. I guess we can just untap you for no for no benefit here. All right, so they have nine, 15, 16, 17. We're gonna gain three, so they eventually they they essentially have fourteen. So we have to soak up. Oh yeah, we definitely got this. So three, um, two here. So four here, how does this work? Um, you here, you here. We take five from this and then we gain three, but they're able to kill both of these guys, which is unfortunate. What's the best block here? I don't know. If we can leave the crater hoof on board, I don't really care about that. 
if we block the other way, put what if we put two in front of this guy and then you here, we take seven from this guy, but gain three. So we go to two and then we get to keep one of these guys. We also have servos here too. Four, five, six, seven. This is actually this is this is a this is a hard block here. Let's figure out. Uh, huh, huh. I kind of want a four four here, and then this guy here. I think we just get to keep another four four. They're gonna kill these two. So no trample gets through here, nothing gets through here, and then we take seven here, but gain three. So we take four and go to two. And then they're at 11. Yeah, this seems fine. I'll go to two. I'm pretty sure our board is uh, just good enough to win from here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, they have to block here, and then they take 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okie dokie. Wow, that was... Isn't it better to switch Lurus and 4-4? Four, four? Um... No, because then they kill Lurus and a 4-4 four, four with their 6-6. Six, six. Maybe that's correct. I don't know. I don't think it matters. Because we won, obviously, so I'm results oriented. Two zero with this deck, that's that's pretty good. And that's when round three started. Reclaimer Monolith Zuranor. I don't mind this because it is a, at the very least, it's a turn four. Battle Sphere, which is not the worst. Interesting. Is this our last opponent? No, okay. <laughs> I got creeped out for just a second. Just one second. See, here I might just go get an academy. Because that seems pretty good. And I don't mind sacrificing a forest. It feels like our last opponent. Dude, mosquitoes in the room are the f absolute worst. Uh, oh, or we can get a, a wasteland. That might be. No, we're just going to get an academy and play. I'd rather develop my board than hold your board back, you know? Play this. Play this. Play this. And we can pass. Everyone is a buzz regarding Grist and the new Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Oh, God. I didn't even read Agatha's Soul Cauldron because it was like a wall of text. Hold on. Oh, God. There is a Grist. Speak of the devil. <laughs> okay, they're just making a 1 1. Oh, yeah, we're just going to go Battle Sphere next turn and then also have an Academy that makes a billion. Fascinating. Zerda. Sundering Titan. Boy, that is fascinating. Okay, you may spend mana as though or mana of any color to activate abilities of creatures you control. Okay. Creatures you control with plus one, plus one counters on them have all activated abilities of all creature cards exiled with Agatha's Soul Cauldron. So the creature has to have a plus one, plus one counter, and you had to have exiled creatures with this. Exile target card from a graveyard. When a creature card is exiled this way, put a one, one counter on. Okay, so it basically, it's itself, itself propagates. 
that's a lot going on. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could just Sundering Titan. We can kill this as the forest, this is the swamp, this is the plains. I'd rather them crack this, though, to be honest with you. Plus, this gives us a lot of mana next turn. You can always go downtown. Yeah, this this question might be more in depth than I can give attention to right this second. Also, this card's twenty dollars. Good lord. I think it's like the second most expensive. Snuff out. Snuff out, am I? <laughs> oh, Jetmere's Garden is actually fantastic for us to. Oh, yeah, we're going to. We're going to. Oh, what? Now I don't even. To... Oh, we're just going to kill all their lands. Oh, man, their whole lands are gone. Oh, boy. Yeah, Beseech the Mirror is the, the most expensive card in the set, for sure. So how much does this make? I'm just going to tap it to find out. Six, and I got seven, eight. Okay. We're in the upkeep? Oh, man. It's a good thing I didn't actually, like, do anything that could not have been undone. Oh. That's fascinating. I think we play that first and go infinite. Is that correct? Yes, right? <laughs> you can always go downtown. That's probably enough, right? Uh, you, 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 and you. Done. <laughs> that's, oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's get rid of forest because we have a forest in hand. Just play wasteland, I guess. Might as well untap this guy for one. There's nothing else we can do, right? I'm not... Attack Grist, 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 Grist. Grist goes to three here. And they're probably going to kill Sun Titan with Grist. Which is going to be rough. It's going to hit our planes and our savanna. Or we can just gain four. Sure. We do not have Sun Titan, no. Um... Done. Well, 
flight steel. Forest. Okie McDokey. Um. Grist, grist, grist. Oh, Tiger Hooch can't block this turn would have been decent, actually. Why don't we just use the tricks that we have on the board? Who knows? All right. Well, I feel like we're doing well. We have infinite mana if we can just get a card to... So if we try to kill this, they just crack it, huh? Fascinating. Temple Gardain. But alternatively, if they don't crack it, they get a land out of it, so let's prevent them from having a land. Okay. Oh yeah, take that take that damage. Okay, um, one, two. We have a lot of draws. Is that a good one? Not really, but it is a draw. It exists as a draw. If we make this guy unable to block, they can still block with something else. So it's not going to. Oh, no, don't do that. Just attack. How much land do you have? Wild. Oof. <laughs> All right, you got it. You got my grief, or my, my Luris with your grief. Sure. And that's, uh, that's a fat gentleman. I overpaid. Um, sounds like a verdant plains, I guess. All right, got him at nine. We have a lot of life on board as well from Zuranorb. Use the mana to make them not block. Smart, smart. I think I will. Oof. That is unfortunate. Oh, they just gained four. Okay. I thought they were going to kill our monolith, because good lord, infinite mana. I see. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. This is a lot of good draws you're hitting here. I guess we do have Primeval Titan, though, which is pretty good.
Oh, they just put counters on it. This is fascinating. These are not the expectations I had. Say this is why you probably should have gotten rid of the the basalt monolith, you know? <laughs> One. Um, let's make this guy unable to block, I guess. One, two. So we have like three lands in our deck left, which is pretty good. If they want to kill prime time, they have to double block. Sure. All right. I have no cards in hand. That's fine. Okay, so we're just living living our best life here. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do that. Oh, uh, one. Oh, man. They didn't even let us ultimate. Biscuits. Remember, no one had faith in this deck, and here we are. Here we go. You're all a bunch of haters. Um, I, I don't like Thrun here, to be honest. Can't, can't grist it. I wonder if actually, so I, I like the Lurus Lotus interaction where like you go turn one Lotus, play Lurus, and then play Lotus again. I almost wondered if Kitchen Finks might just be better, but I don't think so. Yeah, I'll play 41, sure. Lotus, what's a Lotus? I'm confused. Interesting. Grimothy. If we hit another green source, it's a Turn three Nissa, which is pretty good. She pumps out a lot of creatures. We also have a questing beast. Which is good against Grist. That was the that was the point I was making there. Like I like Questing Beast because Grist tokens can't block it, and then you can still deal like four to it. So Oh, that's pretty good. Um, we wanted that second green for Nissa. Let's yield to the end step so I can make a a hand with two monoliths. <laughs> yeah, I'm the monolith man. That's what they call me. Old Frankie monolith. Hmm. If they go white source, Knight of the Reliquary, okay. I think we're safe. Oh yeah, Questing Beast, destroy it all. Burn it to the ground. So 
So this is six. Or we could we could actually Wall of Omens. I kind of want to play Questing Beast and kill their Blooming Marsh, though. Attack your face. Put your grist in the garbage. More like garbage. Gris, gris, gar grist. Gar, gar ah, there's nothing. There's nothing here. There's no joke here. And they missed the land drop. Oh, this game has just ended. Oh, Volcanic Island, you got it. I find new ability every time I read them. Yeah, he's got a bunch. <laughs> they really put a bunch on there. And it didn't matter. 3-0 with this deck that everyone doubted. No one had any faith, including my own wife. She just hated it. She said, I don't know if this deck is gonna do anything. And then here we go. So thank you guys for watching. Slam the like button. The stupid subscribe button. You hit it right now. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.